Mother's Day 2023 in East Vancouver, USA, and this is a good one. You're gonna love this. We're gonna talk about bees. Imagine that, bees. But I don't know any bees as well as this guy does. His name is Jason Hutchinson, and he, he was kind enough to invite me over to put together this short little film on bees. He knows more about them than I do, so let's just go right to him. Okay, so what we're gonna look at right now is the uh, mason bees. This was our first experience with bees. See this guy right here flying around my head. What they are is they're, they're, a, uh, they're a pollinator. That they go out about 300 yards and pollinate everything in your area. And the wonderful thing about uh, mason bees is they don't sting. They love to just they love to just bring, just have a colony. And we have eight eight hives. And in each one of these tubes that are blanked off with mud, that's why they call them mason bees, is about three or four babies that are put in each cell behind it and stacked on each other. And so they go into the holes. You can see here, they'll go into the holes. And what I've done is I've, these, these, have, these have taken off every year for the last five or six years. So I just have to keep adding, I keep have to add more hives because they just keep coming in larger and larger groups. So I, I, I went and uh, I put this one up and this one up just this year. And so they're filling this one. This one's completely full. And now they're taking on this one. What happens now when they, when they fill up all the holes? What they do is they hibernate over the winter and they come back. They come back in early March. They hibernate here inside these? Right in here. Just they stay here. They have the, the kids, the babies, the larvae. They, uh, they uh, hibernate in here. And then the whole new colony is emerges about March. This year was a little later because we didn't have the good weather. But we had spurts of it. So like on a really nice day, you'll see about 20 or 30 of them, like the first wave come out here. And then when the when we have some consistent sun, then these things open up and there'll be two, 300 bees flying around this deck. Well, I know standing here and looking through the, the camera, I don't see a lot of bees, but you people out there are wondering, is there any bees there? Uh, yeah, there's bees there. Oh, yeah. And they're flying all around in there. And they make me a little nervous, but not bad. Yeah. No, they're not, they're, you say they're not going to sting. Oh, this no, one doesn't. Uh, mason bees are famous for not stinging. You would really, they can sting, but you would really have to kind of pick them up and play with them for a while. And what they'll do is they'll fly around your head, like you were saying, and they'll try and go in your ear just to make a home. Now, okay. what, one quick question, and I, and I'm, I know I'm taking you off track, but I'll forget if I don't bring it up now. There's that, um, is the one big threat to these type of bees or any type of honeybee, is it that killer bee that came from somewhere and it was oh, up in Seattle? Yeah. Would that have anything to do with maybe? Not really. Not really they don't like honeybees? Not, not for these. But they, if they were going to, if they're going to go for a, uh, uh, to overtake a hive, they would go for any kind of protein, which would be pollen or honey. Okay. So they would go for a, uh, in, they'd go for a, 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 a swarm of, honeybees because they produce things even yellow jackets they don't produce honey uh, wasp any of those oh. now they're not gonna really they might they might fight each other but they really want they really want to go into a hive that has something that they can they can uh, have for resources i see okay all right so, you know, they'll, they'll, and uh, what it is about about just while we're on that what it is we have beekeeper associations all over the world right mm -hmm. and everybody's looking for those guys so what they'll do is they'll, they'll catch one, they'll put a transmitter on it, they'll follow it back to their hive, and they will, then, they will, then they'll capture it, and they'll do a research on it. And what it is is we're not putting up with these things because they have all these beekeepers, or look, every beekeeper is looking for them. That's right? wild. Yeah, it's really taken off. It's really quite the, uh, it's really quite the uh, 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 group of uh, uh, people trying to help the planet. That's what that's the that's the essence of what beekeepers do. Getting back to this, you're saying help the planet. Now there is some threat. Obviously, it's been going on for quite some time with the honeybees. You know, there's that there's having problems with the honeybees not producing anymore. Why are they getting so weird? Not doing a lot of things. Well, the in uh, the first one, one, as I understand it, I'm still pretty new. You know, I've only been in for right. seventy six years, and uh, but. What it is in 1980, we had 
what came into the United States was called varilla mites. Right. And what it is is they'll attach themselves to a honeybee, and they're like a leech, and they'll suck the blood. They'll suck the blood out of the uh, little uh, honeybees, and uh, they'll. What they can do is they can they can also give them diseases and things like that. So in 1980, that came from uh, the Far East, came over here, and so we've been fighting them ever since. So now you're pretty much any hive you have in the United States that's been commercialized, yes. you probably have those. So we can treat them. What we'll do is we'll vaporize them with, with the solic acid. There's some nat natural ways, but what's happening right now is there's there's so much you know, there's so much uh, uh, concern for this. All the all the colleges and mm -hmm. are taking this on. There's so many people taking this on, and there's they're finding ways to fight those in those those mites with like uh with like uh fungus mm -hmm. and a few other things that don't hurt the bee but get the get the gorilla mites okay. it's something it's one of the it's what it's it's incredible to read up on some of that stuff so that's that's the whole thing behind save the bees right right, right. okay excellent okay yeah, so there's a lot of people working to help the bees that's the best okay. part so, oh, did you want to say a little bit more about this, or shall we go out to the uh, other hives out let's on the property? To, let's go out to the big boys. Let's oh, oh, okay. Now those are the those are the girls. ones I'm going to have to wear a mask, even though I'm standing behind the camera here. Oh yeah, yeah, I would, I would. Okay. We'll get you out there and we'll see how you feel. You don't think they're going to stink through my well, pants, are you? I'm going to actually do a, a hive inspection. Yeah. So I'm going to lift the hive, I'm going to lift the frames out, and you're going to be able to see the queen, and you can take a picture of. Her. Take a video. All yeah. right, yeah, Jason. Real deal around here. I, I believe that, but you say I'm going to be okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Be all right. I'll we'll be back, be. folks, in just a few seconds. Hold on. Hey, okay, we're on it. Okay, Jason, what are you doing over there? What I'm doing is I'm firing up a, a smoker. What a smoke does is bees, they, they, they have, uh, in, tell, they have uh, incredible instincts, so they'll know what, uh, like a, if there's a forest fire, things like that, right? Right. So what we're going to do is when. We're going to imitate a forest fire. And what they do is if you if the bees are if the bees are agitated or anything like that, what you do is you put a little smoke on them, which makes them retreat back into the hive to protect the hive, protect the queen, protect the brood, right? Alright. So what we'll do is you lightly you don't give them too much, you just give them some so they know it's in the area. Right? So they're right. thinking that way. But when I open it, what I'll do is sometimes I'll smoke them just to calm them down. And also, when I'm when I'm putting the lid back on or putting another hive back on, I smoke them so they go down into the hive, and then I don't crush them with putting the other box on because they're always running around and stuff. They're just they're just sometimes they get out of control. All right. You know? Okay. So this is just a little thing. It helps me and it helps them. All right. It doesn't hurt them at all. They will. Uh, re you'll see when they retreat back into the hive. Nice little incense type smell to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not bad. So what it is, I gather all, I gather I gather, you know, pine needles and, and everything from all these pine trees. And then I just I keep them in a box over there and whenever I need it I go and bring another handful over. And there we have it. There you go. So that's okay. a specially made coffee pot. out of the weather and things like this. Also keep a nice little top in there so they, they don't build too far. What you do is you look on here, you always look on here because I don't have the queen excluder in. You make sure the queen's nowhere to be seen. How do you know what the queen looks like? You don't want, I'll show you, I'll show you what a queen looks like here. Ooh, we go. What I'm doing right now is at this time I'm feeding them sugar water. Wow. What it does, it stimulates the uh, bees to, to uh, make combs get the wax gland going so they can get all the, get all the, uh, the uh, frames filled up with comb. And that's what you do early in the season, which we are pretty early. I'll be taking those off in probably this, uh, 
this middle of this week. Yeah. Because all because everything's starting to bloom now. All the flowers, okay. everything's starting to go. So your real true break from all this is in the winter time that I gather, winter yeah, and fall? Yeah, yeah. And what they do is the bees, the honeybees, life ex life expectancy is about 50 days, 60 days during the summer. Because what they're doing is they're taking off, they're going out, right. getting nectar coming back, going out, using a lot of energy. And so that uh, that takes them down to about 50. Now during this during the winter, during the winter it's about 90 or more because they don't ever leave the hive. All they're doing is keeping the brood warm and the queen warm in there, and making sure that the. Uh, what you do is you come up here and you look. You make sure every time you do this. I'm pretty positive she's down in the brood box. <laughs> okay. You just want to make sure. See, and they're real docile. That's a cloud right there. Is good, Jay. Right there, that do it. Yeah. This is a, what this is a, the upper upper chamber, the upper yeah. box. What they'll do is they'll be putting in honey. As you can see the right. You can see how how it you can see how it's made up in here. Yeah. So what they're doing is they'll cap that honey, and this is what they get to get them through the winter. Yeah. The bees on both sides. Good. And so that's what this. That's what this box is for. Is there, this is a dumb question, is there such a thing as a king bee? Well, there's uh, there's drones, and drones are the males, right? Right. This is a funny story. The, the, the females, the girls, I call them my girls, they do all the work. And they're, they and what they do is when they're they're in charge of what, what happens to the egg, uh -huh. so it, can either be, it can either turn into a female or a male. Now the males only up, I believe, and uh, like I say, I'm pretty new. But the drones, the males, their only reason for living is to mate with the queen. Wow. And the queen only gets mated on maybe once, I mean, gets mated on one time, and that lasts for three or four years. So what it is is uh, they, the, 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 uh, the female bees almost have to feed them to keep them alive. Now this here, you can kind of see, uh, okay. this is what they've, this oh, is nice. what they've built. Yeah. In just a couple, of, in just a, in just a few days, but I just put this on just a few days ago, and you can see the white comb here. Yeah. That's that's a uh, that's that's wax, and what they do is they copy that. But what I find incredible is how 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 they uh, how they can uh, uh, copy that so accurately. I mean. What they do is they have a, they have a wax gland. They right. They somebody else and they build these. You know, yeah. Mother Nature is oh, yeah. incredible. Yeah, it is. So this is the uh, this is the box that'll turn into the honey. Now, all you future beekeepers out there, are you getting getting onto this now? What's good, that? good. <laughs> future beekeepers. Oh Lord, look at those bees. Yeah, look at this. We're getting to be now. Man, oh bees. man. Right? That's a lot of bees there, brother. I look, I look to make sure the queen's not on here. Yeah. Right? That's because crazy. The queen is the thing. <laughs> she is the whole thing. The whole it's all the old deal. So what I'll do is I start from my side. So you're gonna sort through the thing, try to find her, huh? Yeah, yeah, she'll be. Is there a bunch of bees, bees hanging around, gardener and that side of well, no, she, When she's busy like this, she's moving faster than anybody. Everybody's got a job. And they all stay to their job, right? Yeah. And she's already laid her eggs. And the ones who are supposed to cap those eggs or feed or actually feed them with, with uh, honey or whatever whatever type of feed they have, so they'd be a female or a male, they're they're already on that. So they just go, she's doing her job, we're doing our job. Really really concise on what they do. How many eggs does she lay? She lays 1,500 to 2,000 a day. Whoa! Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Whoa! Now, do the bees, the honey bees eventually, I mean, do they keep coming back or do they die and, and yeah, the new is. bees it's come? All about the, it's all about the uh, colony. You know, the colony, and so what it is, is, is they just they go through their life cycle of 55 days, right? And they pass on. Yeah. And then there's uh, different stages. 
different stages of honeybees. Like the, 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 the brand, the new ones that come out, they take care of all the, uh, the next, next wave coming out. They're cleaning the hives. There's also some cleaners. If, they're, if, they're, if some bees die on the inside, they pull them out. They're really cleanly that way. They take nice. care of the hive. And the other ones, once you get old enough, you're out getting honey and coming back. You're just boom, boom, boom. What a life. So you, you have a, pro a progression of what your job's going to be. Hmm. Seems pretty simple. And nobody's really bugging you, so life is good. good. And what it is, the, the fascinating thing, is bees have facial recognition. They, they, they know who I am. I believe that. And so far they seem to not worry me because they haven't been over here. And I don't know if I want them to. <laughs> but it's cool. It's sure cool to watch them. Good gracious me. Those are nice. Okay, you see we're getting... These bees here are making some honey and pollen. Yeah, they are. keep it in the hive. I don't want any chance right. of anybody coming out and falling down on the grass or anything. Right. So what I do is I pull these two out to make room for an for a, uh, inspection. Okay. What I can do here is open that. Now you see they'll go, wait a minute, Dad, what are you doing? You're starting to get in here a ways. Oh, they're getting a little irritated. I can feel them. They're coming near. Bug us, Dad. It is about the queen. She doesn't like sun. Oh, really? She will run down back into here to get away from the sun. Wow. At least that's what I was taught. So you've had bee people out here in the very beginning helping you through this. Oh, now you're gonna give them a little incense there. And what again is that that you're doing? You're, uh, you're smoking them. Yeah. What it does, remember in the beginning I told you they, uh, they, they have an instinct. Right, you're right. For uh, forest fires. Okay. Wow. And so this will replicate a forest fire. Oh, what yeah. It's all going to take off and head on home. Save the hive, save the hive. Save the hive. It's a little windy out today. Yeah, it's supposed to be 22. See, they'll, all, they'll all collapse back into the hive. Wow. Crazy. Protect the hive at all costs. Okay. Now you'll see that she has a red dot. I'm gonna come over here. All right, feel hold okay on. Okay about it. Where's that red? Do you dot? see the red dot? Oh, I do. Okay. Got her? Um, I don't know. Hold on. Okay, she's down in the corner. She's moved back. I see her moving it back up. She's the yeah. red dot. Not too close. There you go. We might be able to see her. I see her from the outside. Come still. over here, you can take a picture. These aren't flying, they're not flying around, they're not gonna hurt you. Alright. There she is. I don't know if you can get a picture of her. Okay. Anyway, did you get a picture? Yeah, I'll get a picture, sure. It's probably good to say I can't it's hard to see through this screen. So she, there's where's she at now? She went where the heck is she? She's up at the top. Oh, I see her. She's moving up there. There's the red dot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got it. All right, that's the queen. That's the uh, that's the girl. And what they do is they will they just pick out a, they pick out a female they pick out a female uh, yeah. egg or larvae, and they start feeding her royal jelly. Oh, gee. Royal jelly is the deal. That has all the has all the good stuff. 
yeah. and turn her into a queen. Wow. If you, if you got a good picture of you'll see the difference. I have pictures of them of different sizes. The different sizes are incredible. So what I'm going to do is I know what this one is, so I, instead of what I don't want to do is move on. Right. I'm not going to really gather any more information. Okay. I've seen the queen. I know she's alive. I know she's doing well. Okay. I've seen the larvae. I've seen the eggs. So she's producing. Nice. So everything a beekeeper needs to see, I've seen already. Okay. So what you don't want to do is hurt any bees. There's always an opportunity to or keep messing with them. You know. Keep messing with them. You put them in a position to be injured or crushed. They are amazing. Totally amazing. Like I say, this hive is just beginning. I'm going to have to eventually, I'm going to have to add some more. So you don't have to spend really a whole much bunch of time on a daily basis with them then. What I have to do is get this, this is, this is a, a wax comb, what we call burk off. Burk, burk off. Yeah. What they do is they will they'll build it up they'll build it also this way a little bit. You know, because you got some new people that right. not listening to the engineer. <laughs> the engineer says stay on this frame and they go up a little bit. Oh right? gee. Okay. So you take that off so that that your two hives don't stick together. I see. Wow. How many years have people been doing this type of thing with bees? Uh well you, we've uh we centuries. Know that that uh, the Egyptians, they've gone into pyramids and collected honey that was okay. still usable, that wow. was still edible. So you can look all that stuff. I mean, like I say, the honeybees are fascinating. There's just so much literature on them. Yeah. They do. Now these guys I'm going to... Uh, that hole because I'm going to put the feeder back on. I see. So right now they don't have a hive to go back into. What they do is they like to collect around that hole. They know what's coming. Oh, I see. So they like that. Yeah. All right. Okay, and then this guy goes on. Movement, could movement. You put, could you put us away, please? Leave us alone. Come on. That's that. And that's what's considered an inspection. That's it. Inspection. Okay. So what I do is I go down and I hit all these. I gotta make Same sure thing this that we just here, did. Yeah. This one here is a little different. That one over there I got, that one over there is a swarm of bees that I got last June. Right. Made it through the winter and everything. And now they have. They've uh, earlier this year they swarmed. So what that tells me is the queen bee had stopped producing, uh -huh. and they were going to transfer to another queen. Right. Okay. So she took off. She went over into that hawthorn tree over there. Yep. And I went over there with my ladder and this guy right here, and I uh, caught him. Oh gee. Yeah. Wait a minute. I got to look at something. All right. <laughs> uh oh. Gonna wire them up here a little I bit. I forgot two frames. See what you can't do. Can't forget a step. What you gotta make sure you do as a beekeeper, put all the frames back. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Funny. Funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at there's room for two. Good gracious. Very cool. Put them back exactly how you brought them out. Because they have a, uh, they have a system They'll know where the eggs are, where the larvae is, 
where the next the next uh, the next patch of brood is actually going to hatch. So they want everything in order. These are ten frame ten frame hives. They come in different sizes. Mm -hmm. This is a five frame nuke box, that's how they sell them. We also have eight frame. The eight frame is not so heavy because when this thing's full of honey, it can weigh it can weigh seventy or eighty pounds. Gracious. Okay. Nice, very nice. Yeah, so that's that's a, that's a that's a hive inspection. Okay, so. so that's what we do here on the at the Peace Ranch. It's a lot of fun. It's a great hobby. I would, uh, you know, what's what's really interesting. Yeah. Is urban, right? People that live in 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 town and stuff might have a large lot, right? Yep. And they'll put up a couple hives back there that that, that can work in their in their specific uh, uh, yard. Sure. Whatever they have their land they have nice so everybody's getting on board with that stuff I mean they'll put them on top of roofs in at uh, at like uh, 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 corporations and stuff it's oh really, yeah it's it's really wonderful to see the outpouring of people who want to serve who want who want the, this this community to survive oh absolutely well thank you so much for your time my friend yeah and later on you folks will get to see this beautiful film about bees Thanks again. Come visit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Take care.